Hello and welcome to another night shift. My name is Yaziel and today we want to answer a question which came up uh, after our live show on the last uh, Saturday and uh, the question was basically now we have the time what we're going to do with that and for that uh, you can see here I implemented some kind of heartbeat uh, the server will automatically send uh, the time to us and uh, we show that in our UI. So <clears throat> let's get started. Um, and we open up uh, our, our um, uh, game time plugin. And in the game time plugin, um, we have down here when we calculate the time in our time slot. Uh, there we uh, implement a new delegate, and uh, it's a public delegate void, and I call it time update event handler. And uh, after that, we have a public static event time update event handler on time update. And then, just uh, when we are done with calculating the time. Uh, we're going to send the update invoke. Um, so that means every uh, minute, an hour, we get uh, sent or we invoke the uh, on time update event. Uh, we just go then in our uh, basic class uh, up here and we bind ourselves to the new uh, event. So that's the time thread dot on time update and it's uh, plus equal new time thread dot time update event handler. And I call the function this send to all. And now we have to write these send to all. And um, that's quite easy. We just scroll down there where I got that. Uh, Send to all, send to all here. Um, public void send to all, and we're going to try and using the dark rift writer and write our year, month, day, hour, and minute into it. And then we go and uh, uh, look for every connection we have on the server. So we go in for each connection service con in dark rift server dot get all connections. So uh, we have a list with all connections and we scroll through that uh, with uh, the variable name con. And then we just uh, say uh, con.send reply uh, tag dot uh, send time and we send our writer. So basically we call every uh, time in minute the event and in the event we just send to every uh, connection we have or we, every player we have, we send the time. Yeah, just the normal way after that, you uh, build that, uh, stop your server, copy the build into uh, your server under plugins and start the application new. And next we have to go into uh, Unity and we go here on our start. And uh, I made a canvas. Uh, let's see where I got it. Uh, in the mini map, there I got a timer. Let's go to the scene. There it is. <clears throat> Just make that bigger. So uh, you position that uh, and uh, bring in and text in there. Um, given a uh, color and uh, the position and uh, the size of the, um, uh, <clears throat> the font. And uh, so you can see that there. Next, of course, we have to have a little function here, uh, which uh, picks up uh, the time we send it through the server. So um, Let's uh, see here in the game manager, I implemented a new script and it's uh, called time server. And uh, I got it here. So just uh, right click, create a new C sharp script and uh, open that. And in the C sharp script, uh, we need the Unity Engine, Unity Engine UI. So we have access to the text and the dark rift, of course. 
we have the or I call uh, created namespace or we have that already from the Yconst uh, used of uh, the namespace Yaziel and uh, in there the function uh, public or the class public class time server and it uh, comes from mono behavior so we can put that on uh, an item into unity since we want to uh, use that later on for different things uh, i used uh, to bring them in as a static so we got a static in year static in month static in day static in hour and a static in minute and I just set that to default zero. And of course, we want to show the time somewhere. So we have to have the public text and I call it my text. And after that, we going to have the uh, void start function. And in the start function, we bind ourselves to the dark rift IP on data. So we receive the data when uh, something is coming through the network through our connection. Before we can uh, create our receive data function, we have to create uh, in our yconst the um, public const type uh, time tag uh, and uh, against our demo we had on Saturday uh, where we choose this 200, we going to through use the three here or I going to use the three here. So it fits in my in my function or in my list here and uh, then of course you have to have the uh, public class time the subject or time s uh, and there you have two consts uh, the public const u short get time uh, equal to one and the public const u short receive time uh, to two and don't forget to uh, set the same values uh, if you change it to the settings.conf in your plugin. <clears throat> and then you just go and uh, look if the tag you received is uh, to our network tag time tag and you look if the subject is to uh, equal to our network time subject receive time. And then you say using dark rift reader and you read the stuff out of there and then you just uh, copy these values or the values you want to have of course you could do the year months and day also i choose just hour and minute and i choose to copy that into my text or text and uh, i uh, use the hour hour dot string and use the function called uh, pet left that means if the hour is, for example, one or two or five, we fill the rest on the left side up with zero. Then I have a double point and I do the same with the minute. So minute to string dot pad left uh, two for the minutes uh, with only one uh, uh, char in it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we fill that up with zeros also. That's uh, all you need to do uh, to implement uh, such a uh, counter or such a time showing in Unity when we use the uh, time server we created in the um, 8.1. So anything I missed? No, I don't think so. Oh yeah, of course, um, here in the game manager, you have to drag on your uh, text um, item so you just go and uh, drag these timer text uh, just there so we know where we, uh, we want to uh, show that so that was the quick answer for doing the automatically uh, time receive of course you could change that uh, easy to have a um, uh, style of heartbeat you would do in your let me pick that up again in here in your function you would uh, call a different function and you just count uh, uh, to three and if it's three uh, uh, it's okay and uh, on the next count you check uh, if it's not uh, going up or five or whatever uh, you just uh, say application quit and you close the application and lock your character out. 
So always uh, you know, or the character will notice, not the character, the game will notice if it's not longer connected to the server. Um, so uh, it will automatically uh, bail out uh, and uh, close the application. So that's all for today. If you liked it, just leave a like. And if you like it even more, just subscribe to my channel. I would be more than happy to see the number growing. And um, yeah, well, happy night shift until the next time. See you.